Hello everyone and what, what, wait, wait. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cargo's channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to ship your car cross country from the east coast to the west coast. For those of you who are subscribed, and if you're not, I would appreciate if you do, uh, we, me and my wife are moving from uh, New York City to LA, California. What that includes is a lot of stress and moving stuff. So we did a road trip uh, to and from LA uh, to New York and we're gonna do another one which you've probably seen in the previous video if you're subscribed if you're not check the previous video subscribe I'll appreciate that now uh, a lot of things are involved in the move um, movers and stuff but this video is gonna be all about moving my CL and how to ship it uh, if you have a wife let her do the research they're probably more diligent than you if you are that lady Props to you, my wife did the research for the moving company uh, for the auto transport and we stopped on uh, Mercury Auto Transport and by the end of the video you're gonna know how this ends but uh, I'm gonna guide you through the whole process. So I spoke to Eric who was super super responsive, um, very knowledgeable about these things because he does it all the time, he's been in the business for a while. I'll have his information down in uh, the description. So uh, the quote was a bit over a thousand dollars. It was a thousand and fifty. Uh, Eric and Mercury Auto Transport, they're a broker. So they work with different trucks and uh, different transportation agencies. Uh, I got the phone number for Mike, who's gonna be my driver after I left the deposit of $150. Uh, the other $900 I'm gonna pay when uh, my CL, which I'm currently in, uh, when my CL reaches California, LA. So this is a door-to-door -door service, but if you're on a small street like mine, you're probably gonna have to move the car to a larger street. As I said, I'm gonna film the pickup. If I have to contact the driver, I'm gonna film that as well. And I'm gonna film the delivery of the car in California. First and most important thing is you pay $150 for the deposit and then Eric put me in contact with Mike, who's my driver. Mike called me a few hours ago that he's gonna pick up the car today, later on. Uh, and today's Thursday and he's gonna probably deliver it by next Friday or Saturday. That's when we will arrive at LA. So about a week, give, give or take uh, five to nine days, I'll assume. What else, what else? The broker said that we could put 100 pounds of soft stuff in the trunk, up to 100 pounds, and the vehicle is insured up to $100,000. Uh, but that does not include the insurance of the vehicle. I think the vehicle is uh, up to 10% of that because uh, the hundred thousand dollars involves liability for other cars damaged by the vehicle and um, that's what the hundred thousand dollar quote is what else what else there is almost nothing inside the car as I said hundred pounds in the trunk if you're shipping your car um, overseas make sure you have less than a quarter of tank of gas otherwise that may incur other charges uh, that the auto transport may uh, charge you for extracting the fuel out of the car. Now let's wait for Mike, see the transportation truck and all the documentation that he's gonna give me because obviously he's gonna go around the car and he's gonna note if there are any damages uh, and if there are more on receipt of the car, we're gonna file a claim. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Well, stick around, it's gonna be a wild ride. Okay, Mike the transporter is around the corner, but before we hand the car out to him, we're gonna park it right over there and go around and make sure there are no damages to the car and uh, uh, check the overall condition. All right, we're gonna go around the car real quick. We're gonna note all the dents and dings and stuff like that, like this over here. Make sure we don't blame the uh, auto transporter later on for uh, uh, all the damages that were already on the car. Um, also, we're gonna do the same thing with the auto transporter and he's gonna make a note, but I don't wanna make him feel, uh, you know, funky by me fil filming him. Of course, I'm gonna ask if he wants to be in the video. But here we go. One other important part is to make sure of the exact mileage of the car as well as 
how much gas you have in the car. As I said, for international transport, your gas gauge should be below that little uh, one quarter marker, but then check your miles. You don't want anybody going uh, for a joyride without being accounted for. Okay, let's go and meet Mike. One more important thing before we put the car on the transporter, if your car is equipped with an easy pass, some pass or any other uh, toll uh, payment system, you should remove it. Otherwise, you'll be paying for the tolls on the car that's on the truck. So yeah, get that straight. Another thing, since I live on a very small street, I had to move the car to a bigger street so the transporter can actually get to it and it's easier, it doesn't have to maneuver too much because I assume it's gonna be a big truck. So I pulled it over to a bigger street so he has uh, space to stop over there and uh, that's also called in this business door-to-door -door service even though it's not right in front of your door but you gotta consider the size of the truck as well. Here is the car, here is the truck, and that's what I was talking about. This size truck, it's not gonna be able to fit in any small street. So we parked over here, and we're gonna put the car up there along that uh, Toyota 4Runner. So Mike right there, the transporter, he's doing an inspection, walk around the car, then he's gonna tell me what he saw on the car, and uh, point all the things that, you know, are gonna be there when the car arrives as well. There we go. Off it goes on the transport truck. I lifted the hydraulic suspension up so uh, it doesn't rub on the bottom. I don't think it's gonna be a problem because the truck is pretty well equipped. But yeah, we're in monster truck mode. Alright, time to say bye to the CL, it's already on the truck, Mikey looks like a nice trustworthy guy. Uh, we're gonna pick this car from California and we're gonna film that and then we're gonna go over the cost and everything. And if I decide to give uh, Mike a call and see where he is and what he's doing, I'll record that as well. So let's continue on. and the CL is arriving in about a few minutes so we took the uh, E-Class out of the garage because the other one doesn't have tags now it's time for us to go and get delivery of the CL so in a traditional cargo manner uh, everything from this point on uh, lost its audio while I was handing uh, the camera to my wife uh, the microphone has disconnected, not to her fault, of course. Uh, no one has told her to monitor uh, noise levels on the screen. But uh, I'm gonna have to end up voicing over the rest of the footage. We go ahead and pull out at the front of the house and we see the trailer over there with the car on it. Of course, first thing we do is go and have a walk around the car uh, make sure everything is right then Mike took the car down little by little very professionally done <clears throat> then both me and him went around the car made sure that everything was okay at that point I go inside of course check the mileage the mileage was off by five miles which is not bad at all since um, of course I left the car an extra few days with him so he had to probably put it on a, a spot where the car can be safe and not leave it on the trailer um, after that we uh, drive around and the conclusion 
to this whole thing is uh, it costed $1,050 and um, Eric and Mike have been super helpful if I ever have a chance to ship a car with them I will do it again uh, also if you guys liked today's video and uh, learned something from my experience of shipping my car from the East Coast to the West Coast uh, I'll appreciate it if you hit the like button and of course subscribe for a lot more useful tips car events and a lot more videos in general to come you have a lovely evening afternoon or morning I'll see you in the next video bye